All right, YouTubers, DMAN2000 here, back to continue our discussion of modes and scales. Today we're going to talk about the blue scale and how we can incorporate that into our groups of four concept and um, in a very similar way as the last lesson where we talked about pentatonics and groups of four. And so uh, before we get started on that, um, we had talked about diagonal pentatonics and uh, the three note over two note or three over two uh, pattern or the frying pan pattern. And today what we're going to look at is an inversion of that, which is a two over three or inverted or upside down frying pan pattern. And um, that's going to be important because that's going to let us play uh, the minor pentatonic scale and it's also going to give us a framework that we can incorporate uh, our blue scale. So let's look at that very quickly. And so if we're in the key of C uh, and with our root here on the sixth string, eighth fret, we're going to go back two frets. We're going to start on the sixth with our first finger. We're going to play one, two, and then we're going to drop down and we're going to play one, two, three. We can slide up to that or play it however we want. We're going to drop down one, two, one, two, three. We're going to make our one fret adjustment. And we're going to finish on the 15th fret. And so that is our inverted uh, two over three. And um, that would be a C minor pentatonic scale. And it would be starting on the, the sixth fret here and with our root note here um, on the second note that we play, which would be the C note. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the blues scale uh, in a very similar context. So, um, you know, in a similar way to the uh, groups of four concept where we're using four note per string scales, but we're going to alternate, alternate between two note and four note per string uh, scale pattern. And so what we're going to do is instead of, we're going to start out in the same place uh, on the sixth fret with our first finger, and then we're going to play one, two, and we're going to drop down here. We're going to play one, two, three, four, okay? And we're going to drop down, play one, two, one, two, three, four. Make our adjustment. One, two. One, two, three, four. So we still wound up on the 15th fret, and all we really did was we slipped this note here in between. Uh, so rather than playing for our twos over threes, we're just playing one, two, three, four. Okay. And that is our C, <coughs> excuse me, C blue scale. And uh, so, which, you know, exists within and we've incorporated into the C minor pentatonic scale. And, you know, simply by just, uh, uh, you know, adding uh, that note, um, which we'll call our blue note or blues note. Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out is that uh, you know, in a very uh, similar way. So if we were looking, let's say, at um, playing our C minor pentatonic scale, which would be going um, here to our C root on the eighth and playing our uh, position five box, okay, which would be... What we're going to do then is we're going to add uh, the blues notes into that box and so um, starting uh, from the same note we're going to play um, 8 11 and then we're going to drop down here and we're going to play 8 9 10 and this note here is one of our blue notes and then we're going to play uh, 8 10 8 10 11 on the g string and then we're going to go back to our 811, 811 on the high E and B string. So that's going to look like going back, it's going to look like. Okay. And 
And so if we shift back um, two frets to our position four box, our, our, what we were calling our minor box last time, then what we're gonna do there in order to uh, blues it up is we're going to uh, play it the way we normally would until we get to the second string. So we're gonna go. And on the B string, we're gonna um, add this note here, which is our blue note, and then on the E play it the same. So normally where we would be playing, we're going to play. Okay, so going back it's Alright, so now what we have is we have um, our ability to play our C major scale, the root note on the eighth, these in the groups of four. Um, we have the ability to play a C minor scale, um, an A minor scale, and also to incorporate our pentatonics, our major and minor pentatonics uh, in the root key and also in the minor key, which would be relative minor key, which would be A minor. And now we have a way to play the uh, blues scale. And the thing to keep in mind is that as long as we keep track of the root, which in this case is C, and we keep everything in uh, the same uh, perspective or relationship to that C, then this will all come with us as we go up and down the neck. So if we want to uh, shift to the key of D, all we have to do is come down here two frets to D and uh, repeat and we will be then uh, doing everything that we were doing before but in the key of D. And so that's extremely uh, useful. And now we have the ability to play, um, you know, from all the way from the sixth fret to the 15th, uh, for instance, with our diagonals and um, to cover a lot of ground and to um, be able to understand how these different shapes kind of interlock together um, in a way that will allow us to easily um, memorize and also memorize by feel uh, how uh, they all kind of fit together. And the last thing that I want to point out um, before we go, because I'm trying to keep these lessons kind of short, is that if we are talking about um, our box, our position five box, um, so that would be here, uh, with our root on the C, if we were going to be playing a pentatonic minor scale, that when we get to the bottom of our box, so here, by sliding up uh, two frets, we have what some people call the, the blues house, or uh, I've heard it called the church, uh, you can call it whatever you want. I call it the blues house. Uh, so it's just a... Alright, so that's right on the back of our box. And so that's starting at the 7th fret if we were on the 8th uh, fret and, you know, playing C. Okay, so we could do something like that, and that's just a way to extend uh, our box a little further. And then if we look at that, um, how that plays into our, um, because basically we're talking about, uh, you know, on the high E string. So here on uh, the G string, we're playing the G note, right? Because the neck starts over right here. So this is a G, and then we're playing uh, 10, 13, 10, 13, right? And then we said that this was our, um, the end of our blue scale uh, here. So we've got, so 
So we've got, um, you know, plus our, uh, our position four box in front of that. So that gives us a lot of notes in the pentatonic and blues scale that we can pick from um, that get us basically, you know, all the way from uh, the sixth fret to the 15th. And um, I think that that is pretty useful. Uh, next time we're going to talk about the Dorian mode. Now I know we've covered it in terms of our groups of four, uh, but there is another useful way to play it, uh, utilizing the position four and position five uh, boxes with slight modification um, that will uh, potentially be useful in playing uh, Dorian mode along with groups of four and that we're going to take a closer look at. And so I think that's it for today. Feel free to leave comments and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out.